Hi, everyone. Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending December the 3rd, 2021. And uh, what a week it's been. All right. Every, every morning we would start off looking for a very optimistic outcome to the day. And almost every day by the afternoon, we've been kicked in the teeth. Uh, we're trying to rally. We've got about uh, two and a half hours, just a little under two and a half hours left in the trading day uh, to finish out the week. Right now, the um, S&P, we'd like to see it. It was trying to make a rally, but the bears are winning out uh, towards the end of the day here as we fade into the close, it looks like. Uh, we'd like to see it get back above 45, 44 in order to uh, remain optimistic, but, um, but there's the struggle that's going on there. And with the NASDAQ, it's looking uh, quite a bit worse with growth this week. And so NASDAQ, we need to see back above 15,275, and we've got a long ways to go before we do that. Um, we're seeing uh, it, it bounce. It's just, it's just finding a, the place to bounce is much lower than what we would have uh, liked to see. So that's how those are trading out. Uh, for the rest of the week, uh, those, those indexes are trading, trying to hang on to the, to the bullish side of the fence, but they're, we see them as they're fading now, fading into the bearish, uh, bearish sentiment as the week closes. The Russell 1000, we would like to see back above 254. It's got a ways to go before, uh, before we get there uh, in order to try to get back into um, a bearish uh, side of the fence as we move into next week and try to close out the year or the next couple of weeks. Um, not really happening. The, the small and mid caps of the Russell 2000 has been a distribution phase for about two weeks. And uh, the same thing for the, uh, the Russell 3000, quite a ways to go. We, we need to get back up uh, above uh, 268.60 in order for, uh, for enthusiasm to, 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 to build back into those particular trades. So that's where we are in the markets this week. This week, this week's like this, okay, that lets you know whether or not you really want 100% of your portfolio subject to, to all the market risks that are out there, especially when you've got uh, the, uh, the interest rate environment changing. We're moving into a, a, a ever increasing a, a rate, rising rate interest uh, environment. And um, <clears throat> that's going to continue to bear on growth stocks. Uh, we really saw growth momentum take a, a dive off the high board this week. So, that being said, let me let me just uh, close out by something that's continued to raise its head over the last six months in speaking with a variety of, ty of clients. Uh, when we speak about um, about the distributions of portfolios and accumulation versus decumulation, let me assure you that it's the decumulation side of the uh, of, of money management that is the more complicated that requires certain expertise. Okay, and, and regardless of the literature that's out there, it takes solid planning. If you're going to be in a 3% or 4% distribution cycle year in, year out over the course of your 30 years or so of intentional unemployment, if you're going to live on that portfolio, that requires uh, a 3%. Uh, if you're going to live on 80,000 a year, 3% is going to require you to maintain about 2.67 million consistently in the markets and all through all of these types of volatility exchanges and everything. And let me tell you, uh, folks, that's, that's not a walk in the park and that's not going to make easy nights uh, for you in terms of sleep as time goes by. So just because we're looking at portfolios and when retirement allocations, remember, no matter what type of account you have in terms of holding your accumulated wealth, you always have to designate beneficiaries. Why? Because we never know when we're going to, to, to die. We never know when we're going to have to pass the remainder on in legacy. We're never going to get to the point where we know exactly when we're going to die and we know um, when, when to spend down money and when to pull things out, whether or not legacy is a primary concern for you or not. And so, Let's not let's not make the mistake of confusing or or, or or failing to include our regular accounts invested in the markets <clears throat> under money management with accounts that are that are held in certain insurance type vehicles simply because the latter 
has a designation called a, called a death benefit, okay? Sometimes it's leveraged, sometimes it's not. But the point is, no matter what type of accounts you have, you always are going to be looking at, 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 at beneficiary designations because we don't know exactly. So a, a real unicorn, a real profit maybe, could be able to, to, to spec, uh, pick out really when they're going to, to, to die, but you would have to be very ill and that's a, a extremely negative situation that's that's hard to uh to to hit that's going to be the outlier situation okay so remember to main, remain open minded and and don't let certain terms trigger you and 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 turn off your ability to fully appreciate all the different dimensions all the different aspects of the various types of planning vehicles that we use because we use them all and there's a reason behind the ways that we use them all right I'm going to wrap that up this week. Be sure to include to, to, to check out this, this week's email. We're going to send everyone an email. It's going to include a free offer. This is our, this is our holiday season gift for, every, uh, for all of you. From Jared and I here at Asset Guidance Group, the rest of the Asset Guidance Group team, this is our, uh, our gift to you. Free month subscription to let you know if you're still working and you're still contributing to your employer's uh, sponsored 401k plan, 403b, whatever, how to trade those monies. It's going to save you thousands, it's going to earn you thousands, okay, between now and uh, the end of January, which is what it's going to be good for. We're going to tell you, give you advice of, of where we see the markets moving and people that have this, our, our clients that subscribe to this, Love it. So a free month, uh, a, Christ, a holiday gift for you guys and, and tell you how to maintain and how to, how to, how to allocate your, your uh, new money, your contributions, and how to allocate your existing money. Do you need to be in cash right now? Do you need to be in certain sectors, etc.? Check it out. And until next time, stay happy.